All right, welcome to episode six of Watch Me Build a Million Dollar Business. Um, let's go ahead and jump in and look at the plan, kind of revisit where we're at here. So a couple things have happened. Um, we been working with a uh, company for a while that we've sort of kept them going. Um, and I mentioned to the president that at some point they need to get an actual uh, marketing director in there. Because what they needed was not what we really provide. So they did. And um, we are now no longer going to be working with them. So <laughs> we keep falling backwards from our goal. In addition to that, uh, we also have another client that has really struggled since COVID. Um, the industry that they're in got hit really, really hard and they may actually be shutting their business down. So, yeah, um, that has really changed a lot of things for us. Um, and, you know, a lot of times on the internet you see lots of success stories and glamour and look at me i put in 18 hours and i uh, a day and i um, i never gave up and i hustled and i hustled and i got to the point where you know now i'm a success well what they don't usually tell you is that that, that path is not always very linear um, and there are some ups and some downs. So right now we're going through a down. And in order to buy us time and space, because um, I have to be able to manage my energy to be able to do this while I'll continue to run my company, um, I took a 50% pay cut yesterday. So, whew, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And... Um, this is what we're doing. So that's the first lever that we pull. I don't like firing people. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of times business owners get a bad reputation um, for being greedy and taking lots of money and laying people off. Um, I'm the opposite. I would much rather, you know, I feel like if I'm going to um, make the most of the rewards I should also make the most of the risk um, and that's on all ends so here we are what that being said um, this is going to slightly change the direction of priorities so instead of completing the course first um, we are going to complete the acquisition pathway so we do have a couple prospects in the pipeline for the agency and that would put everything kind of back to normal if they come through but I don't <clears throat> I don't like to count my chickens until they're hatched as they say so instead um, the problem that we solve, helping companies navigate their growth challenges and hitting their growth goals, um, it's the same problem that we solve with the course and the coaching community and the coaching as we solve with the agency. It, it's just a different form factor. One is on demand, one is we are guiding you, and one is we are doing it for you while we're guiding you. Um, and I've actually built this company. We're now coming on six years almost in business. And um, I built it as a lifestyle business really to kind of support myself and the lifestyle that I wanted. Um, and with that, we've never done any of our own marketing. We've never had our own acquisition. We've just gotten by on referrals. 
And I would say on average, clients stay with us for about three years, two and a half to three years. So um, it's a tough time out there for some people, but for others, there's lots of opportunity. And this is not the first time that we've been in this situation. I've been in actually worse situations. Um, but uh, yeah, the... Um, actually forgot where I was going with that. Oh yeah. So basically what we're going to do is build out the acquisition pathway first. So let's go ahead and develop ag pathway. The acquisition pathway is the path to first purchase. Um, we have two profit pathways. One is the acquisition pathway. The second is the value pathway. The core difference between the two is in the acquisition pathway, it's how do you take people from unaware of who you are and what you do to uh, buying from you for the first time. And then the value pathway is how do you maximize the value exchange of that relationship on the back end. Um, that usually looks like cross sales, upsells, repeat business, retention, uh, reviews, testimonies, shares, um, win backs, all kinds of different different uh strategies or tactics that you can deploy so we are going to build the agency acquisition pathway to buy us time to go finish the coaching community um you know we had a choice i had a choice where i could have decided to just kind of go all out and all in on the um course but My concern is that um, it's possible we don't get what we need. It could take a few months um, before we're before that's really has a significant impact on the bottom line of the business. Um, even if I had it up and running today, and I could run ads to it today, like I probably need about two hundred customers. 200 active monthly users at, at a minimum, which isn't unheard of, but what I don't know yet is what it costs to acquire those customers and how long they'll stay for. So we don't know what our growth rate will look like. We don't know what our turn rate will look like. Um, and I also got to finish the product, right? So that it's just too many variables for me to feel comfortable. So we're going to pivot a little bit. So let's rebuild what we have here for the um, acquisition pathway. So we are going to need video ads. We are going to need, which means I'm going to need to shoot a, a hook video. At least one. Maybe more than one. We're going to need to... Um, this is where we'll rewire the assessment. This is where we will, so this will be duplicate current assessment. Well, it's an audit. It's an audit first audit. And duplicate current assessment. So the current assessment, when you take it, the growth assessment it's When you take it, it will drop you into a funnel that creates your growth hub template. It also will 
um, give you an overview of some results and share a video with you. We need to rebuild that here a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and start mapping some things out. using Miro for this. Hold on a second. Okay, so what I need to decide on is if I want to do a new board or work off of an old board. I kind of want to do a new one. Because <laughs> this one's a little cluttered. <laughs> Um, and this one is a little cluttered. It's a bit more organized, but look at that. All the old, it's so wild to see how things looked before they became what they are now. Crazy. I guess I could probably do this here. Yeah, we can do it up here. All right, let's go ahead and get some shapes up in here. All right, so we've got meta ads. We've got YouTube organic. We've got Instagram. We've got TikTok. And we've got LinkedIn. Those are going to be our initial awareness channels. Um, reason why we're going to be pushed well here I'll come I'll explain it all once I get through it so you can see kind of where it's going so the first thing we're going to do is take them to the assessment Once they take the assessment, they're going to land on one of four landing pages. so freaking small. There we go. I can actually see this thing. I feel like I should make it a little bit smaller. This can go back to kind of where it was. All right, 
so let's go ahead and connect all the dots. Also, create a Let's throw these uh, on brand here. brand colors, but we do have a blue. Okay. So this will be So depending on your results, you'll get one of those emails. And then all of these will point you to one place. There's always one. There's always one that just doesn't want to play nice. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Okay. Alright. And that'll be on Calendly. That's what I use for scheduling calls. Then, mm -hmm. 
if they do not convert. Do an email follow up, that's what FU means. <laughs> it's not what it, it normally means. Let's go ahead and back this one out to here. Spread these out. Put some arrows in. This is going to be outcome email, pain email. Actually, I don't know what they're going to be yet. I don't want to sort that out yet. They're just going to have numbers for right now. I'll figure out the content later. And it may not be four. Um, Four is a little bit arbitrary, but not outside of um, reason. So these are all going to point to that. All right. I now know this should have been built in the Sherpa processes because that's where it falls. Okay. Um, if they complete a Calendly, They will get a confirmation email. They would get a forty eight hour reminder. I actually don't know what I have set up right now. It's been a minute since I've been in my Calendly, but I like what I have. There are plenty of scheduling um, apps out there. Immediately after booking, if event is canceled, one hour before event, 24 hours before event. Oh, I don't have text on? That's not... That's not going to happen. We're going to do a 48... Twenty-four. And a one hour. And the one hour is actually going to be an SMS. So we need to give that a different color. Actually, actually, I would rather give it the blue, and these can all get the dark blue. 
There we go. Okay. Then we would have the actual call. If they are qualified, they get a proposal. If they are not qualified, they go to the wait list for the um, coaching community. Then after the proposal, I don't know that I need to do much more after this because the rest we already have in place. Um, I want... So they become a new lead here, then they become a warm lead here. Then they become a hot lead. Here. Um, here they would become a disqualified lead. So after the proposal is done, we send it. You know what, I actually wonder if I can, no, we don't need to get into that now. So we'll send the proposal, so it'll be via email. Then we will try to get them to schedule another call.
Hmm. They're not even they don't even necessarily become a customer at this point. They could become a new customer at this point. No, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. No, go away. <laughs> okay. This is a lot of steps. But typically... I mean, honestly, they could become a new customer as early as here. For now, they're a hot lead, so... Whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect. I guess I don't need the arrows if I'm doing it with the bars. Come back to that. So there's still a hot lead up to here. And then there is some periodic follow up. And then they either become a new customer onboarding, which would mean that they get invoice they get the contract and NDA and they will get growth hub access and then from there we do what we do Other option would be they would fall off. Oh, they would become a disqualified. They could become a disqualified lead still. Which could be a self disqualification. customer as early as that. So that would be if they s sometimes they don't need another call. they could 
could come on. I'm gonna pause this till it's done. And we're back. Um, so they could fall off. Here, they could fall off here, or they could fall off here. They don't technically become a new customer until they buy. Okay. Da 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 da. And that is our first sales funnel for everything new for the agency. Well, it's not our first, but it's our newest. Well, it's our first, but that we will... No, we kind of have one now, but we don't really use it. So in the beginning, I said I would walk through these different channels um, and why I chose them. So Meta Ads is a really good, Meta's still, Meta being um, Instagram and Facebook is still a really strong ad platform. Um, it's very good for testing. It's very good for targeting. It's very good for uh, drilling into um, insights and learning so if you're so in the beginning I'm gonna need to learn a lot about my messaging and things like that so this is a good place to start and yeah you, you just have a lot of control there and then YouTube obviously you're if you're watching this you're probably watching it on YouTube um, so if you if you want to work with us um, go to jollysherpa.com and choose to take the Uncommon Growth Assessment. Uh, then I'm going to take these videos and break pieces of them down for content on Instagram and TikTok and probably also accompany something for LinkedIn. So we're going to have it in a few different places. Which also means I need to... do our home page um. need to audit our sales pipeline for click up
need to make sure our emails get delivered. And what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's it. So let's go ahead real quick and actually move this. sales page yeah that's fine Excuse me. Um, yeah, I guess that's what we want to do. Create follow up email, set up Calendly. Just going to be time frames, SMS and email reminders. Then we need the proposal I think that's really it really it. Okay, well 
let's go ahead and get us a new project in the pipeline. can see we tried doing this last summer we did not get very far pay more than $500 to acquire a new customer. I could, but I don't want to. Um, there's also another channel I forgot. I have a sales guy that I've had kind of on hold for a minute. That is going to get annoying. Follow up series.
this is kind of involved. Freaking A, man. Freaking A. Okay. Due date. End of the month. Urgent requirements gathering. So the only thing we would need to do for that is just have the redirect your push. Okay. So this is just a coding system that I use to help us name our projects so that the projects don't get confusing or out of control. All right, so we've got those. We've got the emails, we've got the, okay, we need another form.
Okay, I think that's everything. The only thing not in here is the we get the call series, which I will probably pull out and make it its own thing. Let's reorganize this here a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, I didn't put the proposal in there. That's okay, that's okay. So that can be, it's, so it's always better to go live as quickly as you can. 
Um, and I think the big thing here is I don't have to complete the whole thing in order to get it going, but we have to complete the minimum amount to get us where we want to go. Um, and that is the ads, the assessment, the landing pages, the Calendly, um, the follow-up emails. Don't, don't, that's the lead to call series. Then once it's running, I can go ahead and get the emails built and put out after the fact. The proposal can come later as well, and then the other channels can come later as well. So this is kind of like Let's clean up what we have down here. Board modules develop sales page. That's fine. All right. Well, that is the end of this episode. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell. All the fun things if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, in the next one, we are going to actually dig into building this stuff um, I need to gain a little bit of clarity first so there's some exercises I'm going to do and then I'll actually get into all the all the details but yeah thanks for watching see you next time